Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here. The voice of hardcore boxing. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed me Andy Ruiz video. There's always somebody that spoils it in there and has to send a nasty uh, nasty uh, text message about it. What can you do? Social media for you it. But on the whole, well, I've had uh, people ringing me up from other promotional uh, outfits asking me, is it right and stuff like that. Well look, do your own work. Do your own homework. That's not a dig at you. But do your own work, all right? Do your own. Then you'll find out what's going on. Study the game. If I get it wrong, well, that's why I put Will Andy Louise pull out. Well, I know what I'd do if I were his manager. Put yourself in his position, his manager's position. Alright? You gotta to say to yourself, would I pull my fighter out? Yeah I would. When they're getting that kind of money and you've still got the belts. Yes sir. We're gonna pay Joshua all that. Pay Ruiz what he's getting. Saudi oil money, in it. That's what it is. So, it's one of the things, isn't it? But, uh, that's better, isn't it? That's loads better. We know a song about that, don't we? So, all you hardcores. I sat up till early hours last night and I went through as many comments as I could going back a few weeks so and it's something that I don't do I never replied when uh, I've never replied actually because I had all equipment to do it but now I have uh, it's called interacting isn't it so I'm doing my best to reply to you uh, no tolerance will be suffered with trolls but what I did find because I'm learning on job aren't I what I did find was oh, I'll get this one again. What I did find was uh, one of the page. It's on the communication page, and it shows you the hidden accounts on YouTube. Every single one except two on there have abused me and there's 16 accounts so when my tech guy comes next week he's gonna ma he's gonna tell me how many email accounts are running them so they're not even proper trolls are they <laughs> they're not even proper trolls they're hiding they're hiding from Porky and they've never met me or have they met me I think it's interesting being a troll I think it's really interesting because obviously the the people that are the people that are what's the word? Obviously cowards aren't they but frightened. And I think frightened is the word. And they're always gonna do this or gonna do that, but not ever happens, does it? So I was thinking about that this morning when I was training this morning I thought you know what I mean, but I feel alright. Feel a lot better. I think you turn a corner, don't you, after three weeks, you think? But I think I've turned a corner. Do we a shave? Uh Sky Sports. See these are things that I never got to look at last night. I'm prepared though, aren't I, for traffic jam. These are things that I never got to look at last night. Uh the Sky Sports did AJ quit? It looked like uh, Carl and Nelson, Bellew, Malignaggi and Bean were all sat around the table. Why Bean's there I don't know. Uh, Bean isn't an ex-boxer is he? How are you Beanie? Bean! Run a Bean. Should have been. Could have been. Never been. Never will be Bean. Bean bag, beans on toast, baked beans, green bean, beanie, 
Mr. Bean, Adam Bean Smith. You're not an Xbox of Bean. All you are is somebody who stumbled across a load of cool people who were boxers. That's it. But I liked how it was just world champions looking at the little clip that I saw on the Sky Sports website. Because I don't think people should be working at Sky if they're not world champions. You've got to be a world champion now. Obviously my friends Clinton Woods and Robin Reed, they worked at Sky but they were never yes men were they? And Sky, they want yes men around them don't they? They want yes men around them and you'd say 90% of people at, at Sky Sports are yes men because they want to be in the public eye don't they? Because Xboxers they just forgot about aren't they? Same as footballers isn't it? How many footballers do we know from 80s? How many can you remember? Can anybody pick the Liverpool team from 80s? Probably could, but could you pick the Crystal Palace team from 80s? No, you couldn't. But yeah, Alan Pardew, he's ended up with pundit jobs and manager's jobs. You see him bouncing about, don't you? Well, that's like that with fighters, isn't it? They become irrelevant. Nicky Piper won a Commonwealth title, didn't he? So did Liam Cameron, but Liam Cameron's not going to get a job on Sky, is he? Because he's not a yes man and that's what we have in boxing yes man I don't know if I could go for a Passat you know not even a sport one I'm a merc man but uh, but getting by get but but moving on uh, getting by all that I'm gonna watch that tonight uh, I did watch the Prince Andrew interview and I think he's been silly, hasn't he, really? Stupid. Going and visiting a, going and visiting a nonce. How would you do that? You just won't ring him, would you? Or unless you've gone to fill him in. So I don't want to get involved in all that. The Al Capone thing, that, that says, no, I didn't watch that. Let's have a look. Any fancy down coming on the channel? I don't know what that means. Kovalev. Kovalev statement. Kovalev says that people are idiots if they thought he could win that fight because there were so big a gap. So less a gap in between fights. Now, this is how I look at it and this is where fight fans are being abused again. And the, and, and all the DAZN people, they're all up to eyes in it, aren't they? Yet again DAZN begging for views. Canelo's moved up to light heavyweight but it's tainted, isn't it? Do we count Canelo's win over Rocky Field in a regular belt? Were Rocky a unified champion like Carl Froch were? No. So can we count that? I don't know really. But Kovalev, he put a rehydration clause in for a WBO belt. They put the IBF rules to the WBO belt. It's like Canelo when he was fighting at middleweight. He made everybody come down to 155. Do you see where I'm coming from? Instead of 160, they want the upper hand all the time, the ring size, the glove size, they want all that. So I think Kovalev's win... Kov uh, Kovalev's loss over Canelo, I think it's tainted. That's what I think. I think it's tainted. Uh, I've got Dale ringing at three o'clock. We're not going to do it, are we? We're not going to do it. We're not going to get there for free. Uh, I trained hard this morning, man. I don't know if I'll be able to make it tonight. Who'd we'll try and be a boxer for just one fight only? Oh, making. Uh, but it, Canelo's win is tainted, in my opinion. Tainted, and and I had it could have gone either way going into 11th and I think it caught up with him didn't it you know that the weight that he couldn't put on he looked drained to me would that weight did I would the if they just left cover left to put his normal 18 20 pound on would it have made a difference you bet it would you bet it would uh, Uh, somebody was abusing me because I said I might charge a small fee per month next year. I might do, I might not. You don't have to watch if you don't want. 
but the content I'm giving you all is totally different to everybody else's, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Channels like this that cost money, officers cost money, petrol cost money, pull-ups cost money, billboards cost money. Do you know what I mean? I could put, turn the camera on my YouTube account and show you what it makes and make zero and you know I've been doing it two years now for nothing. Sooner or later it's got to, we're going to have to change it if people don't want to. Well I'll just plod on doing what I'm doing. It won't affect me but you won't get to see it will they but I don't know what I'm going to do yet. There's a lot of things I'm looking at doing. Uh, it's all my decisions now which channel I do take advice off a few people but don't worry yourselves about it if you're not on board and you're not hardcore don't worry the gentleman that sent me that email and the one that sent the text don't come don't come on board if you're not interested it ain't gonna affect my life one bit it's not gonna affect me but would you do this for two years give up what you were doing to do something for two years for zero uh-uh so, but like I said, I'm not tech-minded, I don't know anything about things like that, but I will. I do know somebody who does, and we're going to see, we're going to look at this Patreon thing, but I don't understand all that, and uh, so we'll, we'll see, but it's something I'm, I'm looking at at the moment, but not yet. Uh, then we've got a statement by Matthew Macklin, I mean, what were Matthew Macklin thinking of? when he were uh, hammering Carl Froch because he put a f he, he, were, he fought Jermaine Taylor on uh, prime time for 10 quid Carl Froch an undefeated world champion fighting Jermaine Taylor who had only been beat by Pavlik the same Jermaine Taylor who beat Bernard Hopkins twice and has got is it 9 world title wins over world champions 9 I don't know, I think it's nine, is it, Jermaine Taylor's got? So, you know, Carl Froch beat him, knocked him out in 12th round, and you're hammering it because it were a tenor on prime time, Matthew Macklin, but yet you can big up KSI versus Logan Paul, and you can big up Luke Campbell, who's never won a world title, against Lomachenko, a foreigner. You can big up Dillian White against Oscar Rivers, two fighters not born in England and not fighting for a world title. Dillian White's not even fought for a European title yet. That's pay-per-view and you can say that's all right, Macklin, but yet you can hammer uh, uh, Carl Froch against Jermaine Taylor because it's uh, 10 quid on prime time. I thought Mick Hennessy did well to get that on prime time. Do you know what I mean? I thought he did very well. Now, as far as I'm concerned, As far as I'm concerned, I thought that were a great fight, that. Carl pulled it out at bag against a world-class fighter. Now, uh, who just beat Jeff Lacey before he fought Froch. And it was Froch's mandatory, WBC mandatory, a proper mandatory. So Matthew Macklin, very disappointing from you, considering that you're a former European champion. Should have been a world champion, really, but you were robbed. But disappointing, but you have to push the Sky narrative, don't you? And, Hammer, somebody who put that on, which one, Mick Hennessy. Well, let's have it right. Nobody has discovered talent any better than Mick Hennessy in England in the last 20 years. Tyson Fury didn't go to Olympics. Carl Froch didn't go to Olympics. Chris Eubank Jr. didn't go to Olympics. Neither did Darren Barker, but yet they all turned pro with Mick Hennessy and they all won world titles. So, as far as I'm concerned, Mick Hennessy is the best guy for signing people from amateurs and taking them all the way. Yeah, he's had bad luck when he gets them there, but nobody can say that he hasn't... He doesn't sign great talent when they turn over. What have you ever done, Macklin? What? You haven't signed anybody, have you? Do you know what I mean? From debut, who's gone to win a world title yet, have you? If you have, hard course let me know and I'll say, praise the Lord, Matthew Macklin. But, he's on shaky legs, Adam. His legs are shaky. That's what you'll be remembered for, Matthew Macklin, and saying that Joshua Ruiz, biggest shock since Mike Tyson, Buster Douglas. Joshua's not Mike Tyson. 
and uh, Andy Ruiz is not Buster Douglas. So I don't know where you're coming from with that, but you've got to hype it up, haven't you? You are a company man, Matthew Macklin. If you've got a problem, give me a ring. Don't give Dennis a ring. That's my opinion, I'm entitled to it. You put yourself out there on Sky, Matthew Macklin, you're there to be shot down, aren't you? No, but nobody dares say out about you, do you? There they. So, it is what it is, isn't it? Matthew Macklin should have had a world title at about eight defences. He were that good. He would tip to go all the way and dominate, but look at your own house before you start digging other people out. Mick Hennessy put a good show on there, Frotch Taylor, with Lou DeBella. Your friend Lou DeBella, Macklin. So just think on before you start digging people out. Unless I got it totally wrong. But that's what I've seen on social media, oh, that's what somebody told me. But we just think Dale now. Uh, 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 it don't matter where it takes me As long as I can keep this fear I'll tell you what, it's not worse than driving in a car that's red hot I feel like my face is burning Turn that off Dale, L M N. Have a look. Oh, I'm by it. Only tend to shouldn't be too organised, should I? But no, I'm disappointed with Matthew Macklin there. It's like they can't wait to big sky up and have a dig at everybody else. It's like I said, it's a cult, isn't it? It's a cult. I mean, what I want to know right at the moment is who is signing off on all these fights. I mean, Eddie Hearn's come out now and he's saying that they're going to be doing a KSI against somebody else, another YouTube guy, in March. Is that where boxing's heading? And why aren't all these guys saying something about it? They're not saying anything about it, are they? What we've got is Johnny Nelson. Johnny Nelson. We've got Johnny Nelson all over this guy wanting to train him, this, this geek that we're commentating and just screaming like a banshee. We've got Johnny Nelson all over him wanting to train him because he wants his 10%. It's embarrassing to see ex-fighters like Johnny Nelson and Shannon Briggs whore in themselves because that's what they are. They are whoring themselves. They are whores. A bit like Darren Barker, he's a whore, isn't he? Darren, you're a whore. Pouring yourself to Dave Allen. Game plan for Dave Allen while he's getting battered against David Price. Let your hands go, Dave! Let your hands go! Right, game plan. Whatever happened to cover up? But then again, Darren Barker, we know what Darren Barker is for cover ups, don't we? We all remember his big cover up, don't we? Eh? Don't we, Darren? We remember your cover up when you fought Felix Sturm. You weren't even doing road work for it. All you needed to do was turn up on weight and you came out swingers. I'll never forget that interview we did with that uh, guy from Sky. Darren, how's your training gone? He went, well, I haven't done any road work. I've just done yoga because I've got a, a damaged dip. Why didn't you just say, I'm turning up to get paid? I'm turning up to get paid. 
we've got some Eddie Earns mate and I'm from Essex I'm turning up to get paid and I've got a rematch clause after that fight well he couldn't take that rematch clause could he because Sky didn't want it did they you mind all that I think I'm done he was told after the fight Darren ain't gonna be no rematch and he was like oh are you joking me they're like no you can't you can't turn up like that come out swings like that it was embarrassing and yet I dug Frank Warren out for that Ricky Burns Nicky Cook fiasco at least Nicky Cook came and had a good didn't he hey Darren Barker knew all the way through training camp they were in a mess hey if you've got a problem Darren come see me come see me throw you gimps out there you've got a problem come see me see me next week at Dennis's show 29th of November I'll be there come and see me got a problem you only putting in your place whores whores you are whores alright there's no tolerance now I've got no I'm not bothered now it's gonna I'm gonna say what people say anyway you just don't say to your faces do you know what I mean I'm getting sick of it looking at doing something else to dance I'm sick of it sick of it I've got my leg in Anna two year in now Anna Jesus can't believe how much dough I've wasted doing this channel I'm over 20 grand deep in it then of course I could have been doing something else for two year and what I was doing were very lucrative I must be off my rocker might be time to get my head down for a few years pile a bit more dope and then do something else eh what do you think because this boxing game's just going it's just going getting worse isn't it you know what I mean I think I've got to do the old pokey move here again and I put it into sport ah spotted me didn't they spotted me <laughs> cheers mate thanks for that He was ready for me, wasn't he? See what I mean? They see me pull up at the side of him, they know what I'm going to do, don't they? They must have heard about me. But, but no, I'm uh, I'm very disappointed at the moment. Very disappointed with uh, Eddie Earn, very. I've got to beat my bonnet by Eddie this week and he's got to come out on channel. I might as well get me 80 pence a video and do it this way, Anna. It's 80p, innit? 80p is 80p, isn't it? Gotta start somewhere, aren't ya? <laughs> I'm gonna be the G3, baby. Death Row is a label that pays me. Yeah, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed at all. What about Joshua's weight loss? People keep going on about it. Keep making a big issue out of it. Joshua gets beat, is McCracken out of job? You're not going to get rid of McCracken. You're not going to get rid of him. He's been at the EIS 10 years, so people at Matcham have been using the EIS facilities for 10 years. Not one person in government or anything has done anything about it. Yet it's lottery funded. Lottery funded. Eh? Frotch were training up there from Kessler fight onwards. The Mikkel Kessler camp onwards so Carl had what four year there four and a half year at the EIS not bad if you can get it is it go on then go in here, on here. see you later Joe Yeah, so let's see if we can get a good few hour in today. I like to do a bit. Like I said, I've been doing a bit this morning, but not with the channel. Like I ain't got enough time in day now. God, I'm going to be behind you all day, love. Look at that, I could have still been sat there if it weren't for her there. But no, it's uh, I think we'll end this video now, I'm nearly here now. Porky! Road trip, road rage.
that's what we're going to call it well i'm going to call it i do it all now everything's down to me now any mistakes down to me everything's down to me you get a reply it's off me so if you don't get a reply i read everybody's comment what we on here 26 i read everybody's comments if you don't get a reply well you know don't you so i just if you don't get a reply means i've removed your comment all right so keep them coming keep on trucking keep supporting boxing all right it's a fantastic sport He's even taking my spot now. That's not good, is it? Alright, so peace out. Keep on trucking. Shout out to Innovation Alloys. South Yorkshire Packaging. I'll park here. Or you'll do it to me. 